Yeah, mama, papa. This is your girl, Queen E, and you're rocking with DJ Adam. He has another level of highlight. Are you ready to turn up? Because Zagara. I know the major key to success is to dance on your feet. Let's go. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Hey. I know you guys have been waiting for a story time since 19 Kujo Hoop, but you know sometimes. Anyways, welcome back guys. This is your girl Queen Eve. My name is Evelyn Kumsen, Rama Kunedu, the shanty way of saying it. And if this is your first time, please do three things. Like, subscribe, and share. This is what happened. Let me just tell you a brief situation of what happened when I was in Ghana. It always happens in Ghana because for some reason, majority of my life was based in Ghana. So I was in school, you know, it was summer holidays, so it was time to go home. And usually when you come home, your mom, or let me say, your aunts and all those will prepare a large meal for you, for you to enjoy and eat because you're coming back from school. You must have got good grades. So they're expecting that you got good grades, they're gonna feed your bum bum, and they're gonna make sure that you eat the best of the best. So I was happy, home time, food, canteen, our day, everything. To be honest, our day is one of the most memorable moments I will always remember. Our day was legitimately the reason why I was able to enjoy school. Without our day, which means you bring your food or your family brings you food, me, they didn't bring me the food to the school because if they brought me the food, it will not be enough for me because everybody will eat off my food. And I don't like sharing, so don't bring our day food to school. Just leave it at home, I'll come, and I'll come eat it, and I'll enjoy it. I went home, they had made a soup, they had made jollof. Ghana jollof is the best. Nigerians would disagree just now. In the description box, comment box, they're gonna insult me. But Ghana jollof all day, they made jollof, wache, wache is basically rice and peas and goat meat, everything. So I had just basically a food of selections to eat from. So there was this particular soup. It was green. It was green and it looked really, really appealing. It smelled good. The aroma was just beautiful. So I walked over, I'm like, Auntie, this soup, can I please have some of this soup? She's like, oh, go ahead, you know, serve yourself. No problem. There was all sorts of meats in there. When I mean every meat, every meat you could think on this planet Earth was in that soup. So. I like meat. I honestly love meat. I love, you know, the intestines. I love everything souply, duply good. So I go, I asked her, what did you put inside, inside the soup? She's like, oh, I put everything inside. I'm like, okay, cool. She didn't tell me what kind of meat, but I'm like, okay, cool. There's meat inside the soup, so let me just take some. So I go ahead, the, the ladle inside the soup, take whatever meat. There was a particular meat. It looked really different. It was like, it was like, it was like this shape, this way this way it had a curve to it and i'm like okay maybe this is like chicken i don't know leg chicken whatever maybe something new in the menu so i go ahead take the soup take the fufu start eating yo it, it was crunchy as heck the meat that i was eating was so crunchy it was so good and i'm like oh, this tastes really good so i left a little piece of the meat just to add auntie what they had made in the house so that i could die you know at least in the future ask for requests you know ask for the menus like that so i walk up to my auntie i'm like auntie this soup tastes really good what is this meat she's like oh this meat i'm like yeah that meat what is that meat oh the meat that you're eating if you really like it is snail auntie what did you just say a snail auntie did you Snail, do you want to kill me? <laughs> Yo, I went off. They shouldn't have told me it was snail. They should have just told me it was some species on some next planet, and I would have been okay. But they told me it was snail. I had eaten snail. That slimy, gushmy color. Wah, 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 wah. I had eaten snail. My auntie just confessed to me, and I'm like, why do you guys eat snail? Like, that's the most disgusting thing you guys can eat. And she's like, well, over here, the smell here is protein. I'm like, don't ever, please, 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 please. Don't ever bring such creatures in the house. I am good. I'm telling you. Legit, I thought, so whenever people say um, Chinese people eat frogs, yo fam, 
every every tribe or let me say every country has some weird meat that they eat that I'm like, okay, you know what? Frog is not the worst of the bucket, but snail, whole. From then on, I think I avoided soups in general, especially Ghanaian soups, because in there you might even find a donkey. Donkey, monkey, anything, do you find them in those soups? So yes, I had snail before, and legitimately, do I think I'll have snail again? Maybe, yes. <laughs> It tasted good. I can't lie. That's the that's the biggest thing. That's the food that I can say I will try again. I can't lie. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> so yeah. yes, if you what what have you eaten that was basically not meat, or what have you eaten that you know? If you told your friends, they'll look at you two times. Tell me in the, tell me in the comment box what have you eaten that you know definitely will be calling for criticism. Let me know in the comment box because I don't want to feel like the only one that ate snail and just look like I feel weird sometimes. So tell me in the comment box what's the weirdest food that you've eaten or let me say the weirdest meat you've eaten and you know that not everybody eats that. Let me know. Let go. So yes, if you enjoyed this, please do three things. Like, subscribe, and share. And comment. Comment. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys next week. Tell you more story times, okay? Keep you updated. Let's go. Yeah.